Welcome back to Power Racing League and to a video that I promised several months ago and just finally got the rest of the stuff for. So we're going to take a look, quick look at my Ryan Blaney collection. As you can guess by my name, I'm a huge Ryan Blaney fan. Um, there are three cars out that I want to specifically point out. And you can see two of them right in the center, one of them in the back right corner, way back there. Um, and then the 124. So I'm not going to take any of these cars out of the boxes if they're not already out of the boxes, just because that would be a pain in this video. It would probably stretch on for over an hour. Because <laughs> um, I do take very good care of the boxes. Um, so let's just start off. I'm not going to be really walking in the frame or anything. But I will kind of do that sometimes. So let's just start off. This is a flag I bought for 50 bucks at a... At Charlotte Motor Speedway. Believe it or not, that is an insanely expensive flag. Um, so let's just move on from there. Ryan Winnie 124, that is his 2021 Daytona um, Summer Race win. I have the card somewhere, but it's well over on the other side of the basement right now, so I'm not going to go grab it. Bottom or top left corner, that is a Ryan Blaney body armor car that I got at Texas Motor Speedway. Next to that is the Darlington throwback from this year. Lionel actually lost that car, refused the initial refund, eventually refunded me, and I ended up just ordering it from Circle B. Um, one right next to that is the um, Kobe Bryant tribute car. I had to buy that one from Circle B as well because Lionel sold out and I couldn't find the Authentics version. Then is the Body Armor All-Star car. Nothing really special about that one. Body Armor Edge car. I got that one, I think, a week. No, I got it a little bit. I think I got it just before or just after the 2022 Coke 600. Then it's the Body Armor Strawberry Banana car. Again, a car I couldn't find in Authentics, so I ended up just ordering it online. Top right corner, I left that car out. It's another Body Armor car. Um, that one I ordered right off Lionel. But the reason it's out of the box is because it's actually in a race right now, and I don't want to put it in the box and then forget which one I used. Um, and then at the... Going on to the next row, it's at the two corners of that row are two Moeen Menards cars. Um, I bought two of them while I was up in Michigan right after they came out last year. Um, one of them has a paint chip in the hood and it looked really bad, so I went and bought another one. Uh, moving from the left to the right is the Quick Lane car, that blue car right on the headlight of the car on the flag. Um, that is a really pretty car, in my opinion. And it is the final number 21 Blaney car that I got. I only have two of them, although I am still finding out prices and looking at the Pocono Win 164 online. Next to that is... I believe that's a Darlington throwback. I lost the original box. It's in a different one now, I think. I don't know. Let me check on that one. I can't remember. I can't remember if this is a Darlington throwback or not. Okay, yeah, it's number 12 Menards, Darlington throwback. Wow, I am blinding you with that reflection. It's not focusing. No, there's a cat. They've been liking to step on this thing all the time. It's been set up. Shoo. Shoo. Shoo, shoo. Hold on. Shoo, 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 shoo. I have a baseball bat down here to kill flies and whatnot if I see them. It works as a good shoeing stick because she doesn't really like it all that much. I messed up the corner. There we go. So dead center on that second row is Ryan Blaney's number 21 motor Ford Motorcraft car. That is actually the car that got me into NASCAR and Ryan Blaney because my dad worked at Ford at the time, still does, and it was neat to see a Ford-sponsored car in NASCAR, and then seeing that thing win that 
Pocono got me really into NASCAR. Um, next to that, to the right, I believe is another Darlington throwback. No, uh, this is the reason they're in a shelf up on a case. Because that sort of stuff happens way too frequently. So we're just going to fix that car. Um, so this is not the right box. I forgot. This is another car where I lost the original box and I can't remember. This might have been either the spring or the fall, whatever one. That one was not because it was the 28th. It's on the Fusion, which... Blaney only ran for a year in the number 12. Um, then right next to that is a Dent Wizard car. I missed the initial release of that. Got very lucky. Um, can't remember the name off the top of my head. But one of my friends through Discord pointed out somebody to me who had a link to it on Team Penske's website. I'm really glad that they did because that has really helped. Um, but to the right of that car is just the mowing car, other mowing car. Then we had two, some chipped up cars in this next row. Um, third row here, this row right here, the one I just pointed to. Um, far left car that's kind of getting cut out of the frame a little bit. That is the Richmond Water Heaters Menards playoff car. I got that car when I wasn't taking very good care of my die casts, so it's got a ton of paint chips at the front. Um, not too banged up anywhere else, just the front end is really bad, and the wheels on the front don't turn correctly. I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> but next to that is the Maytag throwback car. I love that scheme. Um, not too much else to say about it, though. Then is the PPG car. Love that scheme as well. I believe that is the first Mustang I got. Um, keep in mind, I wasn't really ordering online until, I think, halfway through 2020. So about June or July 2020. Um, dead center on that row as my mom's alarm goes off. I'm not sure if you can hear that. Is the Duracell car. That is the first... Ryan Blaney scheme on the 12 car that I got. Um, again, nothing else too special about it. To the right there is the Dex Imaging car. And then right next to that is the, um, I believe the 2020. Yeah, it's 2020. No, no. Just gotta love cats. I believe that is the 2020... Might be, no, it's 2020 for sure. Um, Talladega Spring Win. So the right of that is another car that I didn't take too good care of. It's the Jack Lynx car. That car has raced one time and is going to never race again because I chipped it up too badly. Far left corner, getting mostly cut out of screen on the next row, is the Daytona Win. It's the same car that's in that case there at the back, the 124, except for it's in 164 scale. Um, I bought two of those. The second one is still in the box, and I didn't grab it down, but it's in a box right now. Um, I didn't take it out of the original packaging, so it's still in there. Next to that car is the um, Pennzoil Roval. That one's not the Roval Win. It's just the... Same base scheme. No. <laughs> At least she was polite this time and I don't have a car to take care of. But that's the same base scheme as the Roval win. Um, I thought it was the Roval win for a little while, but I can't find the card. And there's some race wear missing from it, so I don't think it's the right car. Um, next to that is just a regular body armor scheme. And we're going to skip those two in the middle for now. The These two right here are the exact same car, except for one of them's 2020, one of them's 2021. I think the 2021 is the one with the yellow spoiler, but I could have those flipped around. I'd have to look at them. 
And on far right corner, mostly cut out of screen, is the Advanced Same Day car. I loved that scheme, and I'm so glad that Advanced decided to keep black on the car. And now that brings us right back to the center cars. Um, the one to the right there is the Advanced Auto scheme from 2022. I was waiting on that car for quite a long time. Um, I pre-ordered it when it first came out. And to the left is the Libman car. Now, something neat about that, to me, is I just got the shipment for those two last night. But I got a little note on my receipt. Because, you know, Circle Beast sends you a receipt. And I was looking at it. They are nice about it. They said, this car was out of stock, so we're going to give you a free upgrade. I am so thankful they did that. It matches the flag and everything. And also, if I grab it, it's a metal chassis. I This is the first metal chassis car I've ever bought. Because I don't think they're worth it. If the camera will stay focused. But this car looks beautiful. Feels great. And will probably last quite a while longer. Um, but with that... I want to just thank Circle A for sending me this, and goodbye.